a good blog is dependent on a variety of factors, one of which is images. However, a successful blog today is also dependent on speed. The quicker a website loads, the more enjoyable the user experience. This gets us to the issue. What brings a website or blog to a halt? Several variables can be held accountable. Scripts, ads, and images. Indeed, visuals are a factor. They account for the lion's share of a page's total size. According to HTTP Archive, images account for 21% of a page's weight. While images can contribute to the success of a blog, they can also be the reason for its demise. This is where optimization enters the picture. You must ensure that your images are optimized properly. By optimization, I mean that they should be light and attractive at the same time. Image optimization is not a simple task. You can either do it yourself or utilize a plugin or third-party service to automate the process. Additionally, it is critical that you offer WebP images, which are significantly lighter than typical JPG or PNG images. Short Pixel Image Optimizer is one of the most popular image optimization services accessible today. And in this video, I'm going to review Short Pixel as well as show you the best setting to optimize your images using Short Pixels. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you will find this video helpful. What exactly is Short Pixel? Short Pixel is a service that optimizes images. The business is based in Romania. It compresses images and drastically reduces their size. According to the service, it can compress images by up to 85%. This means that if your image is 1024 kilobytes in size, the plugin will reduce it to 153.6 kilobytes with no discernible loss in image quality like sharpness, brightness, etc. However, you must keep in mind that not all images will be compressed by 85%. The caveat is, up to 85%. As a result, the amount of compression achieved is entirely dependent on your settings and, of course, the image. How does Short Pixel work? Short Pixel operates from a remote location. This means that every time you upload a picture to your server, Short Pixel copies it and stores it on theirs. The optimization is carried out entirely on their server. This implies it will not consume any of your server's resources which are generally often limited. All images copied to Short Pixel Cloud servers undergo algorithmic processing. Short Pixel then re-uploads the optimized images to your server. The original images stored on your server are transferred to a separate backup folder. How to install and configure Short Pixel on WordPress. To summarize, setting up Short Pixel is not difficult. The plugin is free to download from the WordPress plugins repository. You will need an account to receive your API key and use Short Pixels. Click the link in the description box below and create your free account with Short Pixels. For full transparency, the link is an affiliate link, so I will get a kickback with your purchase at no extra cost to you. This is a way to help and support the channel. Create your account by clicking the free sign up button. Input your email and accept the terms and click the sign up button. After that, you will receive an email containing your API key. Now go to your WordPress dashboard then Plugins, Add New. Search for Short Pixels and click on Install and activate the plugin. There is a function in WordPress that allows you to request an API key directly from the dashboard. Enter your email address and submit a request for the API key. If you do not already have an account with Short Pixel, now enter your API in the field and click on Save. Short Pixel is now active on your WordPress website. After you've configured and verified your API, you'll see a settings panel with five tabs. What you will see is as follows. Now, let's examine the configuration choices offered under each tab. The General tab. Under the General tab, you'll find your API key, along with a status indicator indicating whether it's valid or not. Underneath there are all the settings. Type of compression. There are three distinct forms of compression available. They are as follows. Lossy. This method achieves maximum compression at the expense of image quality. Despite the decrease in image quality, the difference is not readily noticeable to the naked eye. 
glossy. This is ideal for photographers who wish to compress an image while maintaining the pixel-perfect quality of the original. This format does not achieve a high level of compression. Glossless, it optimizes images very slightly, maintaining near pixel identity with the originals. This should not be used unless you are creating vector graphics, medical illustrations, or other technical drawings. In essence, lossy is always the preferred solution for web use. Only when lossy compression is used can you achieve an image size reduction of up to 85%. As a result, choose lossy. Also, include thumbnails. Yes, optimize the thumbnails, as these are the images that are most frequently seen. When left unoptimized, these thumbnails can increase in page size, particularly on archive sites and blog articles with sidebars displaying recent posts, or directly beneath the post displaying related posts. As a result, it is usually prudent to incorporate thumbnails in the optimization process. Image Backup Normally, I would not endorse this. Maintain a local backup of your images. Server storage capacity is scarce and frequently highly limited. Even hosting businesses that provide unlimited storage have provisions fine print defining their usage policies. However, if you have enough capacity, you should enable this option. Backups ensure that you can restore the original lossless images in the event of a disaster. Remove EXIF. EXIF data contains information on the camera used, focal length, the noise, the exposure, and the geolocation. All of this information is encoded in an image. Although the embedded information is not visible, it contributes to the file's size. Eliminating data enables higher compression rates. I strongly advise you to delete the EXIF data from the images you use on your web page. If desired, you may always add a watermark to your images to ensure their security. Yes, EXIF data can be used for claiming copyright. Resize large images. To begin, avoid using huge images on the web. That is not a good idea unless you operate a photography blog. Even if you have a photography blog, Resizing the photographs is still recommended. If you have a legitimate purpose for utilizing huge photos, you can request that they be scaled to the desired dimensions. Select this option if you're using photographs taken with your phone. Typically, these photos are extremely huge. After configuring everything on this tab, save the changes. The Advanced tab. Additional media folders. If you wish to optimize certain image folders, other than the default WordPress media folder that you access via the media uploader feature, you must give the path to those files. There may be more images, such as those used by themes and plugins. Unless you specify otherwise, short pixel will not optimize them. This function is also useful for optimizing PDF files if you are using them on your website. Convert PNG images to JPEG. PNG images are larger in file size than JPEG images. Therefore, if your site contains PNG images, you should always enable this option. Take notice that a PNG image may occasionally be smaller than its JPEG version. Short Pixel will not complete the conversion in this scenario. CMYK to RBG conversion. RBG is more appropriate for mobile and computer displays. Allow this option to be enabled. Next generation image format. Please enable this option. Google prefers that you provide WebP or AVIF files. WebP images are three times smaller than PNG images and 25% smaller than JPG images. Again, AVIF images are half the size of WebP images. Thus, AVIF outperforms even WebP. As a result, please enable this. Both WebP and AVIF can be enabled. WebP is currently supported by the majority of the world's main browsers including mobile devices. This is not true for a VIF. WebP has global support of 94.41%, but AVIF has global support of only 64.62%. As a result, convert your images between the two formats. Optimize Retina Images. If your website has Retina Images, please optimize them. Optimize other thumbs. Certain plugins will generate thumbnails. These thumbnails will lack metadata registration. If you have such thumbs, optimize them as well. These thumbs are typically not listed but can be viewed in your media library. Short Pixel will find and optimize them for you. Optimize PDFs automatically. Enabling this option causes Short Pixel to optimize all PDF files it discovers on your server automatically. This is an excellent option if you are working with PDF files, for instance, a downloadable PDF. Exclude patterns. Particular patterns can be used to exclude certain images from optimization. You may leave this field blank. HTTP auth credentials. 
if your entire website is password protected i.e. users cannot access it without a username and password you must give short pixel the login credentials for short pixel to optimize the photos and deliver them optimized generally you will not have a website that is password protected unless you do not want search engines to index it password protection is typically used to secure staging locations optimize media on upload Enable this option to have short pixel optimize every image you submit via the media uploader to the WordPress media library. Process in front end. If your website permits user generated content, you should enable this option. It will also optimize any photos uploaded by your website's users using the front end interface. Exclude thumbnail sizes. If you want to exclude certain thumbnail sizes from short pixel optimization, you can do so. Once everything is configured, save the settings. The Cloudflare API tab. Cloudflare is a free CDN that is used by millions of users. If you're already using Cloudflare, you should incorporate it. To facilitate integration, you must provide the following zone ID. You may find it in the overview section of your Cloudflare account. Cloudflare token, this is the preferred method. And Short Pixel provides an in-depth guide on how to create a token. You do not need to supply the global API key if you are using a token. Provide this value only if you are not utilizing a Cloudflare token. The global API key can be found in the Cloudflare account settings. The Statistics tab. This tab contains information about the average compression size, disk space and bandwidth saved, and so on. There is nothing to configure in this case. You'll be prompted to empty your backups. If you decide that you no longer require the backup images, click the empty backups button. WP Resources. It is a promotional area where you will find a list of services and products that are 100% compatible with Short Pixel. This tab is optional. Short Pixel Pricing. Short Pixel is a freemium plugin. It does feature a complimentary tier in which you will receive 100 credits. It will deduct one credit for each image optimized. It processes the main image for one credit. It deducts one credit for each thumbnail it processes. It takes one credit for each WebP version it creates. It takes one credit for each AVIF version it creates. Short Pixels has many different pricing packages. I recommend choosing the one-time packages. For only $10 you will be able to optimize 15,000 images which are more than enough for many WordPress websites. Short Pixel Adaptive Images Short Pixel offers a separate WordPress plugin called Short Pixel Adaptive Images. This plugin will offer appropriately scaled images to various devices based on their screen size. As a result, when a visitor to your website uses a mobile device, the visitor will see a picture suited for the device's screen size. I see no reason why they would need a separate plugin for this. This feature is also included in a few other image optimization plugins. You are not required to install a separate plugin. The plugin will utilize their CDN to distribute scaled images. Short Pixel will charge one credit for every 5 megabytes of CDN bandwidth consumed. Consider the consequences of your website consuming 50 gigabytes of CDN bandwidth. Short Pixel will charge 205 credits for every 1 gigabyte of storage. That's 10 1,250 credits for 50 gigabytes. Conclusion With over 300,000 active installs, Short Pixels is one of the best image optimization plugins. Let me know which image optimization you are using now. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.